talking? Porter is seven weeks old and he is such a big boy. He is cooing all the time now and he smiles all the time. He still loves to be held. The swing he likes sometimes. He likes this rocker. He only wakes up once at night, right? And he just eats and goes back to sleep, but sometimes he has 5 a.m. wake up parties. Oh, goodness. Still breastfeeding exclusively, and he loves milk. Yeah. I'm just sitting here, Gray. We just put Gray down for a nap. I am watching Hallmark Christmas movies. I've been watching them since. They came on in October. It is now November 4th. It is the day after um, the election and they are still tallying votes to see who has won the presidency. So we are waiting to see. A lot of people are very invested in this. And so um, time will tell who the president is, but we are just absolutely loving today because the weather is amazing. It is November 4th, like I said, and it is like high 60s. It's like 67 outside. It is beautiful. This weekend, it's supposed to get into the low 70s. It's going to be like 73. It's so crazy. It's perfect because we can rake our leaves and get all that stuff done because our so many more leaves have fallen from the trees and there's still more to go you guys it's just never ending that's our plan this weekend is to rake because it's gonna be beautiful and i'm sure we'll go out to the park and we'll go on a walk and it's just gonna be amazing anthony is home this weekend unfortunately um somebody that he worked with at work got exposed to coronavirus and so now he is mandated to stay home for two weeks so it's been really nice having him home um but kind of scary that, you know, every time he goes to work, he potentially could get exposed to coronavirus. Cases are increasing here in Ohio. Deaths are increasing as well. God bless you. We had about a 2% positivity rate um, at like the beginning of October. And now we're at like a 7 or 8% positivity rate. So I think with just like... It getting colder and people are staying inside more and so they're having gatherings inside and then people are getting together for football games halloween i'm sure there was a ton of halloween parties we didn't go to any because we have two kids and so yeah the cases are just increasing porter is just watching me so intently like what is she saying yesterday he refused to nap in this rocker and so i had to hold him the whole day <laughs> it's really nice to like slow down and hold him but i have so many things that i'm trying to do i just feel like earlier today i wanted to cry because i have been so stressed with this whole grocery thing so we order our groceries from kroger and we just do the pickup because you can do it for free on kroger um, and you just basically go online, put in your cart all the things you want, pick what day and what time you want to pick it up, go to Kroger, they have specific spots you'd park at, and then they put it in your trunk, and then you just drive off. Contactless, no exposure. It's awesome. It has been awesome. We've been doing it ever since March. But I put in an order Sunday night so that to be picked up on Tuesday. Tuesday in the afternoon, giving them plenty of time to have my groceries ready. So I did that. Then Tuesday morning, I get a call from Kroger and they say, hey, we're short staffed. Could you instead come at 4 p.m. to pick up your groceries instead of noon? That was kind of more inconvenient because Gray would be up from his nap and I'd have to take both kids in the car, but I was like, you know what, fine, whatever. So the rest of the day goes on, I don't get any more calls, put both the kids in the car, it's an inconvenient time, Gray had just woken up from his nap, it was beautiful outside, we wanted to be outside, but we couldn't because we had to go get these groceries. So I put the kids in the car, left, went to Kroger, and it was packed. All of the spots were taken by cars. There's like six spots and usually it's dead. Usually I'm the only car there. All the cars were there. And so I had to like, I finally got into a spot and um, I was just waiting there. I checked in, the girls came out and they were basically like, um, we're really short staffed and um, give us your name and we'll see if your order is ready or not. And I was like, 
okay so i gave them my name and while i was waiting for them i was just like they probably told all these cars that had all these orders all throughout the day to come back at 4 p.m to have their orders ready so i was crossing my fingers that they would have the groceries ready for me but the girl came out empty-handed and was like hey i'm so sorry um we don't have any of your groceries ready for you um you could you come back like either tonight or probably tomorrow morning and i was like okay and i was like well what time tomorrow morning they were like oh eight eight to nine it'll be ready and i was like okay well what if i wanted to come tonight what time will it be ready tonight and she was like um well i didn't really look on the board for that and i was like what is this and she was like probably eight to nine uh but i'll call you when it's ready and i was like okay so we left empty-handed kid both kids were screaming crying in the car Yes, you were unhappy. Porter's talking to me. Both kids were unhappy in the car, screaming, crying, got home. The day went on, never got a call from Kroger, never did. So then uh, next day, which is today, I went to Kroger and thankfully they had my groceries ready for me. So I put the order in Sunday night and I finally got the groceries on Wednesday. And it was just ridiculous. I'm just so annoyed. Like, why did they call me? The first time, like, hey, don't come at noon, come at four. Why didn't they call me again right before four and say, hey, don't come at four, it's still not ready. I don't understand that. So, and, like, it can't take that long to shop for my things. Like, if I was doing it myself, it would take me, like, an hour. So, I don't understand why it had to take them, like, four days to get my order ready. So, I was very frustrated and I wrote a letter to Kroger, <laughs> an email to Kroger, saying like this is ridiculous and i haven't heard back from them so i'll let you guys know if i hear back but i got the groceries so i'm feeling good about that but i've just been really frazzled because of that and then i was making lunch and i needed to get out a spice and it knocked over another spice which was a full jar of oregano spice and so it crashed and oregano spice went everywhere are you mad because you're not on camera Oh, okay. I think he's getting hungry. But anyway, the oregano spice dropped and glass went everywhere. Oregano spice went everywhere. It was just a mess. And I just literally felt like crying because Porter was crying and Grayson was crying. But I need to go now, so I'll see you guys later. So Grayson is up from his nap. He is climbing up the slide. I have Porter. He is just chilling. He refuses to take a nap and so I am holding him. Update on our yard. So most of the leaves have now fallen. There's still a few left, but most of them are on the floor. Um, the floor, I guess the ground. Um, there was a huge, it was really windy one day and it kind of swept all the leaves to one side or the other of our yard. And so it doesn't look as bad. We have mowed and like crunched up the leaves once already and so i feel like it's not looking as bad as last year but this is what it looks like so far it'll look much better after this weekend when we rake them but it is absolutely beautiful we are outside no coats it's november this is crazy but i love it love this warm weather it's so beautiful blue skies no rain Sunny. Like if we were getting family pictures today, this would be a good day to do it. Porter is just wanting to be held. So that's what we're gonna do. What are you up to? Do it again. He's going up the slide. Sorry that the camera is shaking. I am swinging Porter so that he stays happy. <laughs> Are you sitting on the slide? That's so silly. Also, we still don't know who the president is yet. <laughs> I don't think we'll know by the end of today. And um, election day was yesterday. I think we'll know by the end of this week, probably. So, there's that. <laughs> Grayson is loving playing in the leaves. Yes, yeah, you're gonna throw them? <laughs> Yay! He's, 
You just haven't. What? That's the air conditioner? The air conditioner unit? Porter is over outside. But Grace love in it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. To ride this broom. Attention goals and finished friends. The Fright Night Flight has reached its end. Prepare for landing. Hold on tight. We'll touch down by the full moon's light. And soon we'll be parading through a neighborhood well known to you. You'll find your house and ring your doorbell. Trick or treat!